A few weeks ago I was lucky to have an MG4 standard press car for a week and I did my range test and everything and of course I did a charging test as well. Um, important the MG4 standard has the smallest battery you can have for the MG4. It also doesn't have a lot of equipment, not a lot of features. It's the cheapest version that you can have. It's a 51 kilowatt hour battery according to uh, an EV database uh, it's 50.8 kilowatt hours usable so exactly the same as the size of the battery I don't know if this is correct but I charged the car from 10 to 90 percent at Ionity I filmed the session we're gonna look at the, this uh, footage then we're gonna look at the charging curve we're gonna look what how much range is added into your car with the range tests that I did that were in the winter so you know that this video was supported by Tronity, a must have for every Volkswagen, Tesla or Ford owner, but also for other brands. With the app or the browser, you have an overview of your monthly cost, all of your charging session, your AC to DC ratio and all of your trips. What was your consumption? How far did you drive on a special day? And there's also a 100% tax compliant driver's logbook. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below or when they use the code battery life when they register with the app. And here we go at Ionity back then 45 cent per kilowatt hour. That was nice. We start at 9% go up to a peak right now at 77 kilowatt but it will go up even more. Uh, we had voltage is around 360 volt already at 15%. 81 kilowatt hours now we're gonna see a curve that goes up a bit and I think the peak was 86 kilowatt and then it slowly goes down so the charging curve is not bad for a 50 kilowatt hour battery I have never tested the 50 kilowatt hour battery in the Opel Peugeot and so on I have driven the, the Peugeot E2008 I did range tests but I didn't do a charging test the peak was back then I think at around 100 kilowatt but I had an update here it already goes down at around 33 percent we are going slowly down the peak was at around 86 kilowatt we still have around 360 volt this is the LFP battery that has a problem when it comes to for the BMS to see what is the high state of charge and a low state of charge since the voltage doesn't change too much and as we see the voltage is even going down uh, or staying the same when we're charging at 50% we're still at 360 volt and that's bad for the BMS to see that in a, a normal lithium ion battery you can see way better the voltage with a state of charge is going up and up and up and here we had 361 volt at 50 percent now we're even going down at 359 volt at 63 percent so that's always a problem but we're still charging with 50 kilowatt at around 65 percent that's good that's okay we we are under this now and uh, the kilowatt go down pretty steadily as you can see we are at 42 uh, kilowatt and almost 40 now at 71 72 percent that's voltage is still going down uh, 71 minutes has uh, passed from nine percent to 74 percent we'll see at 80 percent i think it's 38 minutes something like that 40 kilowatt now here at 77 percent that's okay for a car like this for this price for that battery now we have a bit of a jump down to 27 26 percent by at 80 percent and 37 minutes has passed so let's say from 10 to 80 percent is 36 37 minutes that's also acceptable i think and now we are at around 25 kilowatt to the 90 percent i don't think there's a big jump anymore only with 70 amps and the voltage went down it went down from 360 volt to now 355 that's lfp that's how it is turn down the heat um 86 percent 21 kilowatt slowly going down 87 as well so we charged in 47 minutes 42 kilowatt hours um, and from 9 to the 90 percent it was above 50 minutes we're almost done where are we <clears throat> come on <laughs> there we are 51 minutes 43 kilowatt hours 
if you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's channel membership. Here's our charging curve, and wonderful to see is here the jump down at 70. 8% where it goes from 40 down to 26 kilowatt and then the small steps back down here. So at 78% you should leave if going fast uh, to your destination is important. As long as I always say it, as long as there's a next charger is in reach. Our peak here was at 86 kilowatt at 27 percent um, went up here and then slowly down and then it goes a bit faster down at around 60 to 70 kilowatt then it's pretty steady at around 76 70 uh, um, at, at around 40 kilowatt so if it's really fast that you have to to go then you should even uh, leave at around this here but that is just just not a lot of range but for a 50 kilowatt hour battery that's not too bad yeah, it's like two hours later. I was editing the video and then I noticed I used the wrong data to for the range edit. So now we have the real stuff. So you can see mistakes happen. Uh, good thing is that I noticed it. So <laughs> here we have my two range tests that I did with the MG4 at 130 and at 110 kilometers an hour. Consumption was 233 watt hours per kilometer at 130 kilometers an hour and 215 at 110 kilometers an hour. The difference is not that much because at the 130 kilometers an hour there was traffic and my average speed was only 113 and at the 110 traffic was fine. I had average speed of 108 but at the 130 test when I could I drove to 130 and I didn't want to drive 140 and I don't even know if the car can do that I don't remember but here we have the range edit in time so I took the kilowatt hours that the charger showed so of course there's ch uh, charging loss in there the battery gets warm the cable gets warm not everything uh, that is, show is showing on the uh, charger kilowatt power and the kilowatt hours charge go into the battery but we charge 38.3 kilowatt hours in the 37.5 minutes and this is the range when i take the uh, cons average consumption in my two range test at 100 kilometers we are at 100 and, uh, with 130 kilometers an hour it takes around 18 minutes at 110 six, 16 to 17 minutes and with uh, 250 at 110 it takes 27 minutes and uh, 31 32 minutes at 130 kilometers an hour so there's not a lot of range so if we if if you need 200 kilometers of range in the winter that's not possible it was around minus one degrees and heat was on and everything so but if you want to charge 100 kilometers in the winter into your battery 100 kilometers of range and again you have to deduct a bit 5% 10% depending on the charger in there in the car um, 15 minutes to, to 17 18 minutes to get a hundred kilometers of range into the MG4 that takes a bit um, but it's a small battery and doesn't charge very fast so of course this is what you have to deal with but for a cheap car I think it charges pretty well 86 kilowatt peak and 10 to 80 percent in 36 minutes at a 51 kilowatt hour battery LFP a battery so you have to th think about that you can charge it to 100 percent often that's fine but don't drive too low of state of a charge don't drive it under 10 percent that's dangerous even sometimes at 20 percent you can have a problem but again you can charge up to 200 percent but on a long distance trip you don't do that because it just takes so long so eight, like we saw 70 percent is good but don't do it under 10 percent so maybe 15 percent so you only have 55 percent of the battery available if you want to go fast to your destination but that's it for me thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye